Thank you. Let us know. We think it's DEAD, but we don't know. Yeah, it's like it's plugged in. Yeah, we don't know. Yeah, plug in. Have we paid the money to the to the cable and all that stuff? Okay, I'll need to see that stuff. Yeah. Okay, so welcome to the meeting. We're on we're on on the record on this thing. Recording. You are. Okay, good. Welcome to the meeting. Um, December 2nd, 2023. How do we get to this? Well, it was just the other day, about 24 years ago, that it was the, uh, the, the, the new, the new, the new, the new thing. Okay, so I got to sit down to read this. So we have money, financials, and uh, we have operating account of uh, 3054 PayPal of 546 savings of 2865 self-insurance of 17005 convention fund 4059 uh, year-to-date um, donations, big number, 7204 made up of Amazon Smiles, which is no longer for 114 bucks. PayPal giving is 35 and members have donated a large sum of money of 7,060, which repeaters help for things like offset the costs of the um, upcoming uh, uh, holiday party. It help, helps for a lot of stuff. So thank you. Thank you on that. See if we got anything else here. Uh, total is twenty-seven uh, fifty-two with a net monthly of three eighty-five. Yeah, we're down. We're down for the year because we bought all the repeaters, but that will you know work its way back up next year. There's still some equipment we have to buy, but we got to rebuild our, our funds a little bit before we get to spend some more money. But we're we're doing good shape for the club. Great. Thanks to you for uh, doing that uh, as a treasurer. We have four hundred three members. Um, that's pretty good. Uh, 292 of them, or 72%, are ARRL members. I want to mention something about ARRL in a minute. We got uh, nine in the last 50 days and 50 volunteer examiners. That's fantastic. All this information is live on the screen. I just want to mention, I hope I get this right. I might need help. For ARRL members, uh, you can register, you can pay your money and register with ARRL. You can do it through SNARS. We do it as a, the word I'm looking for, courtesy. 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 For, for $5. For five, for five. Um, okay. So, but, 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 and you want to say what it is about the I, next year? I can. I can. Yeah, just okay. explain it briefly so you guys know what is and isn't going on. Thank you. And Tony's online, so he'll bark at me if I get this wrong. <laughs> Unfortunately, next year, due, ARRL dues are going up to $59. Per year from what 40 from 45 49 and um they are uh, eliminating the automatic print copy of the magazine yes, yes, yes. if you want the print copy you have to log on to arrl and um pay some extra money for print copies of the magazines it's um, free Digital Tony, but we're still waiting for forms to come down from ARRL. I'll be working with Tony on that, and we'll figure out how we're going to set this up for next year if you wish to renew through the club. So that is that is where we are with ARRL. Um, Tony and I are talking. We may freeze uh, January until we get all the forms and set up right and all that kind of good stuff. But uh, standby more is coming for signing up through the club of course you can always sign up through ARRL that's pretty easy to do okay so uh yeah so we did a rate increase for the yearly fee um they said hey we're in the world of uh electronics let's save a lot of money by so the qst is available digital i believe maybe tony can tell us when he comes on I'm not really sure. There might be a couple other magazines that you get digitally for free. I'm you not can, yeah. Them. There's uh, there's a couple, four, four of them. Yeah. You know what the other three are? QEX. Yeah, the National Concept Bureau of QEX. Uh, QSU, of course, and on the air. On the air. Okay, that's really good. National Contest Journal is a good one for those who like contesters. QEX is for experiments. And what's an on the air one for a new newbie? That's, that's for newer hands, uh, new to intermediate. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, good. I believe, but I could be mistaken. Uh, was that always uh, digital free in the last? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's been digital free. Uh, okay. Before you could, before this, you could have picked that one instead of QSP. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Um, we won't go through it, but there's a process by which you get a special log on and a special viewer, I think, if I'm correct. Uh, and, and you can see this stuff on your devices. It, they have the, it's called ARRL Mags, and you just log in with your ARRL login, and you can pull them down. Um, yeah. It used to be, when they first demoed it, it was terrible, yeah. um, but now it's it's much better, much easier to use. Oh, they, they, they've really come a long way with this. So I, I downloaded it about a month ago, and it's been pretty good. Okay, that's good. I happen to, I mean, it's great if you're, if, if you need to look through the magazine, it's great to look at the electronic stuff. I do want to say that for those that are life members, anybody life member other than me, a few life members, okay, 10% maybe, thanks, 10, 15%. Uh, they are offering us life members the option of having the QSC, the paper version. You would have, I got my email back a month-ish ago. Um, maybe a little less, and I have to opt in, and then I get it. For uh, for those that are not like members, you can get the paper, the written copy, paper copy, for some additional fee. So maybe Tony, when Tony comes on in a few minutes, he can tell us. Okay, let's Tony, go to the next screen. Tony is up. Okay. Tony, you're up, buddy. Tony, go ahead for the the uh, results of the of the. Uh, of the okay. Event. Can you guys hear me? Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. So the results are in. Um, we had about 140 people that took uh, that took the votes out of 395. So it leaves us about 35 percent of the membership um, who voted. Hopefully, I was hopeful for it being in higher, but I guess not. So we'll have to figure out how to get more participation in that in the future. But anyways, so um, the, the the results are basically all the incumbents have one re-election. So that's myself, Tony W7XM. Barry, K6ST, Jim Shepard, W6US, and then Douglas Amando, W7DBE, um, have all um, been reelected to the board. Um, it looks like it was pretty close to, as it got towards the end there, but um, it was pretty good uh, to see everybody um, um, nominating a, a couple other candidates, uh, Greg Krantz, NT7Q, and John Miller, N7JDM, and we thank them for of course, um, putting their hat in the ring. So anyways, congratulations to everybody. And uh, we'll be posting the results in the uh, newsletter, of course, coming up soon. Okay, Tony, thanks. And we'll, I, we'll do that. maybe we can get it on, uh, on uh, Telegram. Okay, uh, before we started, before I go to the comments, before we started uh, the recording in person, we I mentioned a number of things that were coming up in 2024, but now we have comments. Let's start. Anybody with a comment in, uh, in here physically? Anybody with a comment? No comments. Okay. I, and uh, do we have anybody on Zoom? Anybody on Zoom, just unmute if you have a comment. Um, you can use chat also. Okay. Not seeing anything at the moment. If you want to send, if you want information from SNARS, just send an email SNARS at SNARS.org. It goes to all the board members and at least one more person, our member, our, our membership queen, if I can call you that. Um, and that is uh, Kim. And I don't know if it goes to anybody else, but we try our best to answer lots of different different questions. Okay, last call for for uh, comments. Okay, so we missed it. We missed a screen here for the for the, or I'll just mention. It. Is there a screen for the breakfast for the? Oh, I see. He took my that. Okay, and one more one more um, reminder, particularly for the oh, those on Zoom may or may not be here for the holiday get together. Uh, today is the cutoff. If you want to sign up and it'd be included for the raffle. The raffle, there are three different uh, local prizes. They're all non-ham radio related because we have, we have non-hams coming to spouses and friends. So if you would like to get in for the early bird registration, please do it for today. Uh, the full registration cuts off five o'clock next Saturday and we'll have it on the newsletter and we'll send out at least one uh, um, 
mini static. We need to get the numbers into the place. It's a beautiful place. It will be nice. No club business, just pure fun and get together. And uh, leave all your uh, COVID and sickness at home if you have any. Uh, Tom. Barry, uh, it's the 20 bucks we paid. Is that for the raffle or for that dinner? That was for the dinner, the raffle. So that's the dinner. And the, let me just say one more thing on the 20 bucks. About half of it, about another half or so, depending on how many people have, is going to be covered by the club. So it's really more like about 35 to 40 bucks, depending on how many people come. The raffle is, there's no fee for the raffle. Uh, it's just you have to sign up by today in order to be eligible. We know who signed up. We'll, when you come in, we'll give you the uh, raffle tickets. And no, and no, uh, you know, you got to sign up by next Saturday. Because we have to have a full week to give them the, the numbers. So there's no show up at the door. Um, I just want to thank uh, Brian, who really done a lot of work early on. Might have been as soon as, as soon as August. I don't remember. And a little bit. I want to thank uh, Wes, who helped out early in the year to get this going. Uh, bottom line is. Uh, uh, this is a great place, super great to work with. Some of the other places we went to, they were sort of like uh, non-expensive uh, and not very helpful. So we think we found a really, really great thing. Okay, so now that's that. Now we have uh, our sponsors, DX Engineering, which is here in Reno. Fantastic to order things and just go pick it up. Ham and Hi-Fi, our friends over there, Don Sherman and uh, Ian. And chameleon antennas just down the block. We had a great breakfast there. Um, we have some nets, and that is we have our new net Monday through Friday, and our net net control operators are there. Thanks to uh, Wes who helps run it uh, as a net manager. We have the uh, digital net, the Snars digital net. I'll call the tech net. Tuesday is at 8 p.m. We have something new that uh, our friend uh, Tony will mention, and that is a D-Star net on Wednesday at 6 p.m. on the uh, Module B440 version. Um, okay, and do we have anything else or is that it? Um, let's, we're gonna do the- um, Oh, we're gonna we're do gonna the do raffle. raffle. And then Tony's gonna okay. talk about- why don't, you, why don't you stop the recording and we'll, we'll stop the business recording. We'll do the raffle and then we'll start the other, other thing. Well, okay, what, what do we got?